This is the best SOC analyst learning pathway for beginners. An SOC analyst is the most junior role on the blue team, and it's also one of the most entry-level cybersecurity roles out there. So if you're interested in defensive security, this video is for you. We'll be going over the exact learning path to take to become an SOC analyst, all the projects and skills you have to learn to get hired, as well as how to get hands-on experience onto your resume so you can start applying to jobs right away. And the specific learning roadmap that we'll be covering in this video is the Let's Defend SOC Analyst Learning Path. Thank you to Let's Defend for sponsoring today's video. If you've ever researched blue teaming or SOC analyst learning resources, then you've likely already heard of Let's Defend. It is a training platform that helps you start from zero cybersecurity or blue team experience to getting hands-on experience by investigating real world cyber attacks inside a simulated SOC or a security operations center. This means you get real SOC experience without ever actually working in an SOC yet. And I'll also be sharing a huge 55% discount that you can also stack on top of their already 50% student discount. So be sure to watch until the end. All right, so what's covered and what are the exact skills you're going to learn as part of the SOC Analyst Learning Pathway? Firstly, this pathway covers 25 different courses, including SOC Fundamentals, the Cyber Kill Chain, the MITRE Attack Framework, Phishing Email Analysis, Detecting and Investigating Web Attacks, How to Investigate an SIEM Alert, Malware Analysis Fundamentals, Network Log Analysis, Incident Response, Splunk, detecting brute force attacks, building a malware analysis lab, and building an SOC home lab. This is honestly one of the most holistic learning pathways I've seen for SOC analysts. It covers all the basics, all the foundations, and not only the technical tools that you'll be using on the job as an SOC analyst, like an SIEM, but the most important thing is that you're not only going to learn what these tools do and how to use them, but also using them in the context of a simulated SOC environment. So you're actually getting real-time alerts from the SIEM as if you were already working as an SOC analyst and then figuring out what to do with an alert, how to triage them, how to resolve issues, Issues, how to spin up an incident. These are all things that you'll be doing on the job if you're working in a real SOC. And I've tested many, many learning simulations and environments, and I can testify that Let's Defend has one of the most realistic and vigorous SOC simulations out there. And the best part is that you can practice exactly what you learn in the course via their browser-based labs. So you don't have to download anything to get hands-on and practice and experience. So without ever becoming an SOC analyst, you can already get virtual experience through their SOC simulation, which will be really helpful to help you understand the daily tasks of an SOC analyst, specifically their routines and what they work on, which will also then be really helpful to prepare you for your future interviews and be able to share that technical experience with a hiring manager or your interviewer. They also have learning paths for almost every blue team role, including incident responder, detection engineer, SIEM engineers, and not to mention certification prep learning paths like the CYSA+. You don't actually need any technical experience to get started because they teach you all the basics so you can finish this entire pathway and already have the skill set that employers are looking for for the SOC analyst roles that they're hiring for. Each of their courses consists of the course lesson and then interactive components like quizzes, challenges, and questions for you to go through to put into practice what you learned in the lesson. Just jumping into the curriculum of the SOC Fundamentals course, which is the first course in the SOC learning pathway, this goes super into detail of what an SOC actually is. For example, the types of SOCs as well as different roles, the responsibilities of an SOC analyst, what an SIEM actually is, log management, endpoint detection and response, SOAR or security orchestration automation and response, what exactly is a threat intelligence feed, as well as common mistakes made by SOC analysts. This course will essentially give you an idea of what to expect on the job as an SOC analyst, as well as how a security operations center actually runs. Next, you'll cover the cyber kill chain, which will take you through the stages of a cyber attack from reconnaissance, weaponization, delivery, exploitation, CC or command and control, so even just from the first two courses, you can see how in-depth this learning pathway is going to get. Personally, I think the most important courses in this pathway are SIEM and Incident Management 101, Network Log Analysis, Cyber Threat Intelligence, and getting to build your own SOC home lab from scratch. In my experience working on the blue team, one of the most important things you have to get down is how to navigate an SIEM. Part of your job as an SOC analyst is not only reviewing the alerts, but you may also be tweaking existing alerts, making new alerts based on whatever the business need is, or if there's something to look out for based on the cybersecurity landscape or the different vulnerabilities and exploits that are out there. 
which by the way, is always going to be changing, which means that SIEM alerts aren't necessarily something that you set once and just keep them forever. You're always going to be tweaking them. You're always going to be trying to make them better. You might also be constantly updating your SIEM dashboards or running any reports that senior management or leadership might want, whether it be for how many critical alerts have we gotten this week, or if there's a specific type of alert that you should be looking out for, or tackling the issues of false positives when it comes to SIEM alerting. As an SOC analyst, you're essentially the company's front line of defense when it comes to protecting your company's data, employees, users, assets, anything within your network. And that is also why this is one of the most impactful cybersecurity roles out there, especially as a beginner, because you're basically going to be seeing all these security alerts that are coming in, seeing which ones are false positives, seeing which ones need to be escalated to another team, knowing which teams or which technical stakeholders to talk to if you have a question about a certain alert. And that is why I really appreciate learning paths like this that cover everything in a holistic way. And that's just focusing on one aspect of it. You're not just focusing on SIMs, but you're also touching cyber threat intelligence malware analysis, how to detect brute force attacks, and even malicious document analysis, which is, by the way, very, very important, but not something that you see covered in most SOC analyst learning paths or courses, which is another reason why I think the Let's Defend SOC Analyst learning path is one of the most holistic out there. If you take all the courses in this learning path, you are basically set for any SOC analyst interview that you come across because it covers so many broad topics. And another reason why SOC analyst jobs are so sought after is the fact that they have really, really good salaries. Just to list a few average salaries from different job sites online, on Glassdoor, the average salary for an SOC analyst is $94,000 per year. On ZipRecruiter, it's $99,000 per year on average. And on talent.com, it is around $97,000 per year. So these are very high salaries. And especially considering that SOC analysts are typically one of the most junior roles in cybersecurity, especially on the blue team side, if you're getting into cybersecurity in an SOC role, then you're most likely an SOC analyst level one, which means your average salary is tens of thousands of dollars higher than the median US salary. So it's definitely a very lucrative career path and with a lot of career growth as well. As you move up in your career as an SOC analyst, there are different levels of SOC analysts from level one, level two, and depending on your company, this will all look different for the types of responsibilities that you hold but the more senior you get, the more involved you'll get in different security incidents, in leading cyber attack investigations, and just the overall responsibility that you'll have to keep your company and your data secure. All right, so now that we've covered all this, let's talk numbers. Let's Defend has very affordable pricing plans for students and new learners. If you're currently a student, you get a 50% discount off of their learning plans. And on top of that, I also have a Black Friday discount code with 55% off using code Sandra55 on annual plans. And this code expires in two weeks. So I'd highly recommend it taking action now if you've already been considering the Let's Defend SOC learning path or are interested in blue teaming. This is the exact learning path that is already set out for you. And all you have to do is take advantage of it and learn as much as you can. And you can stack these discounts. So if you use the Black Friday discount code for 55% off, you can also use the student discount for another 50% off. So this is personally the biggest sale that I've seen on Let's Defend, which is another reason why I highly recommend going for it if you've already been considering it. So essentially, if you're a student, you get the 50% off and then you get the additional 55% off discount with the Black Friday sale, which is crazy. Start your career as an SOC analyst with Let's Defend's SOC Analyst Learning Pathway and get 55% off using my code Sandra55 when you sign up for their annual plan using the link in my description. All right, so that is it for this video. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. I would love to answer them. Don't forget to also join our Discord channel where we discuss all things cybersecurity careers. Also feel free to connect on LinkedIn. I post there on a weekly basis and share lots of different cybersecurity learning resources in more real time. I also recently created a cybersecurity Instagram where I'll also be sharing resources all linked in my description. Feel free to check them out. Thank you guys so much for watching. I post videos weekly. If this video was helpful to you, please consider liking and subscribing as it really helps out the channel. Thank you again to Let's Defend for sponsoring today's video. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!